Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to interact with the Azure Web App virtual file by using the Kuru PowerShell. Assuming you are using the app service for hosting your website and you don't know how to interact, how to manage the file after you upload to the app service. So in this video, I will guide you how to do that. Okay, let's get started. Open browser and then access into the portal.azure.com and then select the app service you are hosting your website. Assuming this is the app service we are using in this demonstration. So take a look into the overview page. We have the URL. This is the URL of our website. So let me click on this one to open this in more detail. You see here, this is an example of our website. Yeah. And come back to the app service. In the left menu, you scroll it down and go to the advanced tools in the development tools section. Click on this one. And then in the advanced tools, you click on the go button. It will open a new tab. This is the Kuru interface. Yeah. So click on the debug console drop down here. And then select the option in PowerShell. Yeah. And after that, the Kuru will execute some of the console function to display the content for you. So here, you take a look into the above session. We have some file, some folder. Let's click on the sign folder and click on the root folder. Yeah. You see here, this is the source code of the current website. We are hosting on the app service. Open the www root folder. So now I want to create a new file here and then we will display the content on the website. For the testing purpose, click on plug button on the top and you select your option the new files. So here I will enter the tab.txt yeah, and then on the left side, you see we have the pencil icon. This is the edit file. Let's click on it. It will open a window which allow me to enter some text here. So I will enter some more text here for testing. Testing. Kudu. Yeah. Okay. And then click on save button. Yeah. We have the test.txt already updated. So here, let me copy the file name and then come back to the website. And I will update here. Test.txt. Click on it. And you see here, we can see the message. GNE testing Kuru PowerShell. Yeah. So now we can come back here to edit it again. Times and times. Save it up. Come back to the website. Refresh this one. Yeah. The message has been updated. So in case if you don't want to use this file anymore, you can click on the delete button here to delete the file. Yeah, the same thing. If you want to download the file to the local PC, so you can click on the download button on the left hand side here. Okay. All right. I think that's all for today. So after you finish this video, you know how to use the Kuru PowerShell to manage to interact with the file system and the file in the short course of our website. Okay. I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you have any question. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next lesson.